In this video, I'm going to talk about IP firewall. This is one of the features within managed environments. IP firewall helps to protect your organizational data by limiting user access to dataverse from only allowed IP locations. Now, the IP firewall analyzes the IP address of each request in real time. Uh, and then it tries to provide an access-based information. Now, it mitigates data exfiltration threats, uh, and at the same time, it prevents the token replay attacks. Now, IP firewall can be set using IP address setting in the Power Platform Admin Center, so you need to enable the IP address-based firewall. And uh, based on that, you can uh, specify the list of IP address from which your Dataverse request will be handled uh, and uh, should be allowed. Now, you can selectively uh, specify if you do not want to receive uh, uh, information directly from Microsoft trusted sources. So you can select those options over here. You can also allow access for all application users. That's the, uh, the I'd say a user created using Azure Active Directory. Uh, and also if you have a reverse proxy address, uh, you can specify that so that uh, only the request received to that IP address will only be honored. Now uh, we can also enable IP firewall in audit only mode. So this is also, I'm going to just explain you once I'm, uh, once I'll show you the live example. Now, <clears throat> Uh, how does this entire thing works? Okay, so let me first uh, give you an example. Uh, so let me open this board. Okay, so so think about it. This is your Dataverse environment. Okay, so this is uh, Dataverse environment. Okay, yeah. Now here, uh, say this is the user who's accessing uh, the information. Okay, so here the user will try to access the Dataverse environment. Okay, now by default, you can access from any IP address, right? But if you use a managed environment, then what happens is uh, uh, here you can specify a range of IP address. So take, for example, if I put this IP address range as say, uh, say 61.12.23.20, okay, if this is my IP address, and I want, uh, say this is my IP address range, okay? So anything between 23.35, okay? Allow, okay? So this is what I'm gonna uh, allow the access, okay? So if this user is accessing from this particular IP address, so then yes, allow this user, okay? To access this uh, system. But what if now a user, uh, I take for example, if this accessing from say, uh, say 61.1.1.23, say okay? Now, if the user is accessing from this IP address, okay, then the, uh, the managed environment IP firewall setting will not allow the access. So basically, uh, if your organization uh, has some sort of a network created, okay, and if the network has some IP address defined, you need to specify that and then from within that IP address, anyone accessing it will get an access to the Dataverse environment. Anything apart from that will be denied access. So that's the basic logic of IP firewall. So uh, there is an IP firewall check, you know, so this IP firewall check will uh, make sure that the address is coming from the valid IP address range specified in the admin center. Now, where all to set this in the admin center? Uh, so let me show you in your environment, if you go into specific environment where the managed environment is enabled, you can go into the settings and uh, under product, go to privacy security. And if you scroll down a bit, you should see enable IP address based firewall rule. So you need to turn this on. Once you turn this on, you can specify the IP address. So let me say if I want to allow 61.23.1.10, okay? And say 20 or 32 address, okay? So I can specify like this. And then any request coming from this IP address, okay, will be allowed access to that uh, Dataverse environment. Now, remember, by default, Azure directly connects with Dataverse and you 
uh, you can even block that service as well. So take for example, now if you see this drop down, this is all Azure related services. So there is a connector, there's a Cosmos TV, there is a DevOps, there is an IoT hub. So you can selectively specify which Azure resources can access the Dataverse environment and which Azure resource cannot, okay? So once you select this, uh, then you can, you know, like uh, be rest assured that only the selected uh, uh, actions uh, will be allowed access to the uh, Dataverse. Now here, allow access for all Microsoft trusted service need to be turned off, okay? And then you can select whatever Azure resources you want to be connected. So if you want only Azure Site Recovery and SignalR, then you can just select it and then untick this box. So this is about Ac allowing access to Microsoft trusted service. Second is allow access for all application users. So by default, all application users gets accessed to the Dataverse. Now here also, if you remove this, then none of the API will be able to connect to your Dataverse environment. Now, what is an application user? Application user is basically a user created in Azure Active Directory uh, using a, uh, say, client secret. Okay, so if you go into Azure Active Directory and then you create an enterprise application users from there, uh, you know, that particular user will be able to access the system. Now, those users are not named users, but then those are like, uh, I'd say kind of one of the service principles which access your application. So uh, it can be an API call. Okay, so if you want to block all the API calls to the Dataverse, you can just uh, untick this box, okay? Now, there is an another setting, which is enable IP firewall in audit only mode. Now, what does this mean is it will enforce the IP firewall rule, okay, but only in audit mode. So it will allow the action, but then it will register the uh, information from where all the requests are coming in. So nothing will be blocked. It is just like a, a test mode, I would say. Uh, but it will start auditing all the requests coming from different IP addresses, okay? So no actions will be blocked, but it will just store all the log-based information. Reverse proxy address, uh, if your organization has reverse proxy defined, then you can specify that, and only the requests coming from those reverse proxy will be acknowledged while accessing the information. Now, this is all about enabling the IP address-based firewall rule within Microsoft Dataverse environment. So this is only uh, a part of the managed environment. So if an environment is a managed environment, then only you will be able to configure all the settings. So the different features, as I mentioned to you to recap, one is we can block all the unwanted IP addresses. So we can do that from here. We can block if you want to not trust your own Azure resources. Okay, you can do it from here by selecting the Azure resource and unticking this box. Uh, if you want to track but don't want to enforce the entire IP address blocking, you can do that only in an audit mode. And at the same time, if you have a proxy IP address, then you can specify that and those will be honored in the uh, managed environments specified for uh, IP address uh, based firewall rules. So that's it folks. This is all about uh, configuring IP address based firewall rule in the managed environment. Thanks for watching.